Okay, so I told you I was going to record my room, you know, because we're moving and that's why I haven't posted in so long. I'm so sorry. The stress has been getting to me. I can only do it on the weekends, like I said, because I work until 7 p.m. or later and then want to come home and do things and go to bed. <laughs> um, so this is my door currently until we move into the new place. Well, I mean, it has been the past two years, so it's a curtain. That's some clothes I'm getting rid of. Here's my room, and here's the only bathroom in this whole house that they had to use. My parents had to use the restroom, basically, in my room. So, like I said in a video before, depression, obviously, really bad. That's why this room is disgusting. But also, if you see how small it is, I can't even get next to my bed over there. It's, like, just as wide as my calves, almost. And then on this side... I couldn't get in my closet because my fan was actually closer toward, you know, toward right here a little bit more. So I broke my last fan trying to reach into my closet and everything. So don't really use my closet because of that. So that's why this looks like this. That's some folded stuff because I'm getting rid of, rid of it. But like, look at how like deep it goes. Like, obviously there's trash opened packages from like Amazon this isn't even trash I just forgot to put this in a box yesterday it's four more freaking um beauty blenders I've permanently had stuff on my bed like right here basically the whole time that I've lived here because that's the stuff that I might use every day or like pajamas that I change into every day Jeffree Starbucks is empty because I did take all my makeup that I had over here and put it in a box already, so that box is empty. <laughs> That's full of clothes that I haven't worn in probably almost two years, except for what's right on top, because, like I said, it's over here, I haven't worn it, it's not what I normally would wear whenever I go out, maybe, or I forget I have it, because it's been over here. <laughs> so yeah, and that was my dad's thing that I just put my clothes in while I was here, but I have my own thing. So when we move, like today we're moving. I'm literally having to pack this like right now. And I was cold, but now talking, making this video real quick while they're gone, giving a U-Haul is making me sweat. Well, mainly my armpits. It's um, stress sweat, I guess. And um, I was about to turn the camera around, but my face looks really bad right now. I'm like self-sabotaging my face again. It looks awful. I don't really want to show it. Excuse me. Don't really want to show it right now. So... Started getting some of my summery shoes and stuff together. Work shoes. Like, literally, okay, that's the bathroom. Hi. So then here's my closet that I had stuff hanging. Had stuff hanging. But then, like, look at this. And I don't have a light in here, so sorry. That's a whole bunch of stuff right there. I forgot what's in that box, even. That might be my yearbooks or something. And then look, layers of clothes and like bags that are empty, at least three right there, trash, that's some stuff for me to do my nails for nail boo, and a bunch of shoes down there too that I gotta go through and see what I wanna bring. There's fungi, hey fungus. And then Charlotte who's helping me pack. So, yeah, this is before, well, I guess kind of, like, after, like, because this is how bad it looked. This isn't just from me moving. Like, obviously, what's on the bed right here isn't normally here, but like I said, that corner, all, the, sometimes that whole side of the bed would have stuff on it, and then you know how it is sleeping with cats, if you have cats. They're, like, you don't want to disturb them if they're already laying on the bed somewhere, so you kind of scoot over. So, last night... I barely had any covers because I was laying, like, right there almost. <laughs> it's awful. But, yeah, there's my Triwizard Cup. So, I did a little before shot of the new place empty right now because I think that's really fun. And then I just want you to see the difference, and I need to see the difference and the validation of my room is not going to look like this when I move. It's just not. Like, look. Look at all those cords. What a fire hazard. I'm 28 years old, you guys. 28. So if your room looks like this and you're my age or a little younger, 
don't feel so bad on yourself because I know when someone points it out, it just makes you feel even more insecure, hate yourself even more like I do. But I got this way because I have no room in here. And I'm not trying to be ungrateful. I'm, I used to just live with my mom. So moving in with my dad as well, since I hadn't lived with him since I was 13, missed all my teen years of attitudes and stuff. Like, it's just not fun moving back in with someone that you didn't live with for so long. So he, he would say stuff about my room and I'd be like, you know what? Leave me alone. <laughs> just leave me alone. It's not going to look like this when I move. I'm telling you guys, I moved out with my friend and I only moved back in with my mom because her boyfriend moved in and we didn't like each other at first, whatever. Now they're married with a three-year-old, so it's fine. But sorry this clip is so long, but you know, I just haven't seen you guys in a while. I think we actually got to 150. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all can look at Charlotte while I say this. Thank you so much. Say thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> Can you hear her purring? You got purpers. You got purpers. <laughs> thank you so much. I was really scared to even look at my YouTube channel to see how many people might have unsubscribed because it's been like a month or more since I posted. But I promise you guys, once I get set up in my new room and we get the Wi-Fi working, I'll want to film because it'll be a pretty room and I won't have to go into the bathroom and like hide so that no one can see my room or hear me. Like, I'll have a door. So I'm trying to be excited, but it's not that exciting because I will actually be paying rent now, which is fine. I'm 28, but now I'm never going to be able to move out. And I just feel bad for my parents. If I do actually get a boyfriend and want to move out, then they're going to have to cover my part of the rent that I'll be paying now. It just, you know, isn't ideal. I wish I could have been born a little sooner now so I could have had my own house by now before the economy sucked. So, I'm done with this seven minute long clip. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I guess the next one will be us moving stuff into the new house. I'll probably only do a few little clips like that because I don't want them to get mad at me for filming and not helping, you know, so. Yep, new coffee cup, though. Can't tell. It looks nice and pretty because of, um, you know, all of that. <laughs> so here's my new empty room. I got the one window. <laughs> But I got a walk-in closet, so that's nice. And yeah, don't know where I'm gonna film yet, but I guess we'll figure it out. Don't worry about why I'm kind of depressed. It'll be better than what I have, so.